Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in today's video we will resolve the shipping issue where you have a missing sub attribute country for Google Merchant Center next. So there are two ways you can resolve the issue. You can first clear the value so that you can apply your Google Merchant Center shipping settings, so using the UI, or you could add the country code within the sub attribute. And I will teach you how to do that in this video. So let's have a look at the Google Merchant Center next account. If you don't have the attribute rules enabled, you need to first do that. So you can click on the cog icon, then go to add-ons, And because for me it's already enabled, here you will see advanced management rules. So if you go to your add-ons, you will see advanced data store management. So this tab will then show, or this box actually will show here, and then you can just click on add. Once you've done that, you can go to the cog icon, data sources, then click on your feed underneath the primary sources, and now you click on your attribute rules. You will click on add attribute rule and you begin typing shipping. Don't know what that flicker was, but okay, it's a nice little bug. Uh, you click on shipping. For the added source, you want to scroll a little bit down so you can see cancel. You click on cancel. Then you click on add modification and you can select clear. Okay, save as draft. So now that means that when you apply the changes that the feed attribute for the shipping value has been cleared so there's no value added anymore. So that means that you have to apply the shipping settings manually. So we can do that by exiting the data sources and we go to shipping and returns. And here you can add your shipping policy. So make sure you do that if you don't have one already added. Now the second option is to add the sub attribute for the country. So if you don't want to use the settings, you can continue to use your data feed supplied shipping values. So what we want to do is go back to the data sources. We click on our feed underneath primary sources. click on your attribute rules. And because I have previously already added um, the shipping attribute, we want to just remove that for now so that we can modify it. Now begin typing shipping, select shipping. Now we will want to edit the source. Instead of group attribute, we want to select sub attribute and for the country, in this case, for example, we add US. Now we click on OK, save as draft, and then apply the changes. Within half an hour, the sub attribute error or warning will disappear from your account. So these are the two options that you can move forward with resolving the issue. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.